Hi friends, it's Petra here with another HipKit Club video and today I'm creating a mixed media layout using the gorgeous July color kit, the July main kit and embellishment kit. And I have to be honest, this was a struggle because I am preparing for a move and I've packed all of my mixed media stuff a bit too early. So I had to improvise and I bought this uh, acrylic thickener and I hoped it would be something I could work with and eventually I got some inspiration and it worked. So I started off with creating a circle using that acrylic thickener and the color kit Lindy's Magical, the yellow one, and they are gorgeous. Uh, you know I have worked with Magicals before because they have been in the color kits before and I love Lindy's Mag Magicals. You can watercolor with them, you can use them in your um, structure paste, and you can also use them in a acrylic thickener. So <laughs> that's what I did here. And I'm simply creating a uh, circle which is a bit irregular, which I like. Uh, and I've created some blobs here and there to create a bit of dimension in that circle. So I'm simply folding my homemade <laughs> craft sheet out of a plastic bag because I also packed my craft sheet. <laughs> uh, so that is creativity at its best. <laughs> and I'm drying it uh, quick with my heat tool. And um, I wanted to create a summary layout and in the color kit there are also two gorgeous, gorgeous stencils. So I decide to create a background stencil using the other uh, Lindy's Magical that is in the color kit. And that's a aqua tone. And when you dilute it with water, then you get a bit of more uh, blue tone. And when you have your Magicals in uh, a tray then and they dry up, then you can simply bring them back to life by adding a bit of water because the pigment is so, so bright that you can just keep adding water until you have used it all up and it will still be vibrant and a beautiful gorgeous color. So don't throw your leftovers away. If they dried up just add some more water and they will be brought back to life again. So um, I have created that background with that gorgeous uh, water stencil, difficult word stencil, uh, and I've decided to uh, back my photo with some leftover scraps from my last layout uh, where I used the orange and yellow papers. And I'm simply backing the photo with different pieces of paper just to give it a playful uh, and a bit of a messy look. And I'm still in my torn paper period, so <laughs> I'm still ripping everything up. So in the embellishment kit are these gorgeous vellum shapes uh, in all different kinds of colors. So I decided to tuck them underneath that photo and simply glue them on the edges so the uh, glue wouldn't be showing through the vellum. And I'm always sticking things down with only one piece of double-sided tape so I'm always able to tuck things underneath. So again, as always, I have created a cluster um, 
as a centerpiece for my layout. And when I'm done creating that cluster, then I will glue everything down on the page. Um, that's always my to go to and uh, I always try to arrange it like that. It's not always possible, but I think that's an easy way to create. So you can always add things to your background later on. If you hear any strange noises, that is our budgie or parakeet uh, Fritz. And he is walking and chatting around, so <laughs> it might be uh, that you can hear him through my talking. Um, so, having that said, um, it's time to stick everything down on that mixed media background. And I really like how that turned out. I really was surprised um, to work with that acrylic thickener. I've never used it before and it was a bit of an emergency <laughs> tryout. But I really like it, so I'm keeping that stuff and I will be using it again. So I'm still adding some more vellum. I love that pineapple. Uh, and I decide to uh, use those puffy stickers uh, for my title. And the colors are so gorgeous and it all matches so well. So um, I love to mix fonts in my titles. So I decided to use that uh, black font that was with the kit and uh, to make the word keep, to say keep cool, because it's a beach photo. And I like that little hint of black in the layout. So I'm simply adding uh, some more bits and pieces from that puffy sticker sheet. and adding some more glue to that hard-headed pineapple because he didn't want to stick down. <laughs> and then I'm kind of pleased with how it looks. And as you see, I have added simply added some water to the dry up um, magicals and it's brought back to life again. So I can make some final splatters around that circle. And then I'm done. So I hope you like it. I hope you will try it too and show us your work because we love to see what you've created in our Facebook group. Uh, you can find everything in the, in the description box below. And thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you soon. And Fritz, thanks you too, <laughs> as you can hear. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye bye.